Hi, welcome to Knowledge Graphs. That's lecture four, ontologies as key to knowledge representation. And today I will lead you through the hands-on 4.1, uh, 4.2, reasoning in protege. We will talk about how to reason and deduce and provide new knowledge with protege. Um, what is actually a protege? You have already got um, an introduction to protege where Maza told you and showed you how to introduce classes, properties, and all the other <laughs> important um, stuff and functions of protege. But just as a reminder, protege is a free open source ontology editor and knowledge management system. It allows us to create, edit, and manage your ontologies. It provides a graphical user interface and makes it really, really easy to play around and see how to um, define classes, instances, and so on. And of course, it supports popular ontology languages like OWL and RDF. But does Protege actually allow for reasoning? Of course it does. Protege allows for automated reasoning ontologies and supports several different re um, reasoning engines and of course provides tools for debugging and testing reasoning results. Um, so that would be it for the, um, for the theory. Let's try it together simply. So the first we will start with class definition and we'll try to infer new knowledge. My question to you is what is actually a pizza? How do you know that the dish, what is in front of you, is a pizza? So let's try it together. Yes, yeah, so the dish, just naively, is something that mm, has some kind of pizza base, yes, yeah, some, some kind of uh, round or square pizza base, and usually contains some cheese. Similar to this, we can define it in protege. So we can see already that a pizza is a dish, yes, yeah, so is a subclass, subclass of dish, and we can also say that this dish is equivalent to, so it has ingredient some pizza base and ingredient some cheese. Yes, it's simply as that pizza is a dish that contains ingredient pizza base and ingredient cheese, and that would be it. So here we can see that um, we have two instances of type pizza for cheese and margarita. Um, we also have um, an instance Napoli. Napoli is something that contains a pizza base, is the dough. It has ingredient tomato, tomato and ingredient mozzarella. Yes, but it doesn't have any type. So we don't have type, we don't know what it is. And this is what actually reason would help us. We, we will start the reason. We will use today the hermit reason, uh, reasoner, but you can try at home out different reasoners and see if, if there are any difference in the results. And we simply start the reasoner. And that would be it. Yes, so we can see that the reasoner, based on our pizza class definition, reasoner provided us a new knowledge. Yes, pro a reasoner have taken a look at, at Napoli and so okay there is a pizza base and there is cheese it must be pizza and like this we deduce knowledge for um, class hierarchies or for class introductions we stop the reasoner and go further we also can infer knowledge via property hierarchies yes so pizza I will just show you, pizza base is also an ingredient of pizza. Yes, so we have taken a look at the properties and we saw that pizza base is defined as a sub-property of ingredient, something more specific. And this is actually also what, um, what the reasoner did. Yes, so we see that Napoli has a pizza base yeast dough and if we start the reasoner, it will also say to us that uh, yeast dough is not just a pizza base, it's also an ingredient because pizza base is a sub-property of ingredient. Okay, we will move further and talk about property characteristic. And specifically first we will start with functionality. Just as a reminder, uh, functional property means that it takes only one value, yes, in, in the range, not two or more. 
what does it mean practically? Sorry. So let's take a look at the properties and define pizza base as functional property. And this would basically mean that there can be only one pizza base in pizza and nothing more, nothing else. But let's try to mm, test our ontology and say, okay, if we have Napoli as a pizza and it has pizza base, um, yeah, this, we can also define another one, which is flatbread. Does it work? Yes, it works. Yes, so basically now we we define, we explicitly said that the, our pizza, ba a pizza has two pizza bases. However, if we start reasoner, something else will happen. Yes, so we will see that nothing happens, there is no errors, nothing. But if we go to flatbread, we can see that it is, this is defined as the same individual. So basically, is it all and flatbread, are the uh, our reasoner decided that it's the same thing because we have defined them we, because our property is functional and it can only be one, so it must be the same. Okay, this is how functionality works in Protege. We'll go further and talk about transitivity. And the question is, what is in your pasta carbonara? Let's go back to the Protege and define ingredient as, as a transitive property. What will it mean ther in theory? Yes, so it means that if, um, if something consists of something, has an ingredient something, then these ingredients are also an ingredient of a bigger dish. Yes, so just an example. Uh, here, let's take a look at pasta um, carbonara, yes, it's um, here. We see that pasta carbonara basically has only three ingredients in there. We have egg, we have pancetta and spaghetti. However, spaghetti has also, of course, has its own ingredients. It's flour, flour and water. So what we will, if it starts the reasoner, and since ingredient is defined as transitive property, we will also see that if pasta contains water and flour, it means that pasta dish carbonara also, ha also has this, uh, these ingredients in it. Okay, we will go further and talk about symmetry. And the question is to Casa Nostra or to Gustoso? Casa Nostra and Gustoso, you remember, these are two restaurants in our ontology, here they are, um, that serve pizza and pasta. And of course, we want to define that they are um, competitors. And this property is symmetric, which means if one restaurant is competitor of another restaurant, that it works also other way round. So ex explicitly, however, we did not say it, we take a look at Casa Nostra. Yes, so we see that Casa Nostra is, a defined, is defined as a competitor of Gustoso. However, Gustoso, there is no information about Gustoso. Yes, so we don't see explicitly that Gustoso is also a competitor of Casa Nostra. However, reasoner can see it, of course, because the property is, is defined as symmetrical. Okay, and of course, as um, I have already mentioned at the beginning, we can also use reasoner to check inconsistencies or errors in our ontologies. We can also think that um, th this, this ontology is very small and it's, um, it's very easy to take a look at it and check every class, every definition and so on. However, when the ontologies get bigger and there are much many, many more individuals in there, there can be errors. And this is something, the reason is something what you can also use um, as error check. And let's see how it looks. So the question is, is, the sentence is, it's either pizza or pasta. 
and I will show it an example on disjoint classes. Yes, so pizza, we will define pizza. Um, just short. We will say that if there is a dish, it can be either pizza or pasta. These classes are disjoint and it's very easy. So I'm choosing that pizza is disjoint with pasta. Yes, so there, they, there, can, can, there can't be an instance that is of um, both types, pizza dish and pasta. However, let's try to fool it and see. And for example, we have pizza margarita and we will say that it's not just pizza, but also pasta dish. Will it work? It does work. Yes, so when we define something explicitly, it does work. However, if we check it with reasoner on inconsistencies, it will provide errors. Yes, so we can also try to explain the error and see, and you can see that it will tell you that there are mistakes in the ontology and ontology is not consistent, which is true. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. As is mentioned, it's a very short introduction to reasoning with Protégé. If you have any questions, try it out or reach it out and we will be happy to answer you.